First reading, a reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verses 18 to 24. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground various wild animals and various birds of the air, and he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of the air, and all wild animals. But none proved to be the suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man, and while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. The Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, the man said, This one at last is born of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of her man this one has been taken. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one flesh. The Word of the Lord. Second Reading a reading from the letter of Hebrews, chapter 2, verses 9 to 11. Brothers and sisters, He for a little while was made lower than the angels, that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. For it was fitting that he for whom and through whom all things exist in bringing many children to glory should make the leader to their salvation perfect through suffering. He who consecrates and those who have been consecrated all have one origin. Therefore, he is not ashamed to call them brothers. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. The Pharisees approached Jesus and asked, Is it lawful for a husband to divorce his wife? They were testing him. He said to them in reply, What did Moses command you? They said, Moses permitted a husband to write a bill of divorce and dismiss her. But Jesus told them, Because of the hardness of your hearts, he wrote you this commandment. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together no human being must separate. In the house the disciples again questioned Jesus about this. He said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. The Gospel of our Lord You have heard that marriages are made in heaven. What is a long-lasting marriage? What does it depend on? We might say it is love or trust happiness, faithfulness, or even children. But in today's Gospel, Jesus tells us something more profound about marriage. You see, the Pharisees, they come up to Jesus and ask, ask him about divorce, about separation of man and woman. And Jesus first sees what is in their heart, what they have, within them and they speak of Moses' law and Jesus says it is because of the hardness of your heart that Moses gave this law and Jesus takes them back to Genesis to the beginning what God intended marriage to be and more specifically we see in the second in the first reading today 
from Genesis, the second story of creation, where God created everything and then he created man, only man. And then man starts seeking a partner for himself, seeking for someone like him. He finds no one. And then God creates woman in his own image again. And then man sees in woman a partner for himself, sees someone like him. He says, Adam says, flesh of my flesh. And he joins with the woman, a partner just like him. Man sees God's image, the image he himself has in woman. This is the greatness of marriage. This is the beginning of marriage. Where someone sees in the other God's image. Where a wife sees in her husband God's image. And a husband sees in his wife God's image. This is the greatness of marriage. When a husband and wife start seeing God in their lives. Not two of them, but three now together, with God at the center. Marriage becomes lasting. And no bill of divorce or anything can break that marriage, because marriages are in heaven. It is God created. It is what God has sent. It is what God has put together. That's why we hear in the gospel or uh, in the readings, what God has brought together, no man can put asunder. This is the greatness of marriage. This is what keeps a husband and wife, a father and mother, a family together, God within them.